is on. I think, yep. Yeah. Probably gonna do a little loop now. I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you what that building there is, but we'll talk about it anyways. Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, All Wonky Vids, Ant here with you, and today we are in New York City. Just as you saw, that's the little Midtown Manhattan area right there in the Empire State Building, but I'm on the Brooklyn side right now, so I'm going to go hit the L and then um, go check out the city and see what it has to offer. Why don't you come along with me? Yeah, we're out here in Brooklyn. It's about 10 a.m. And yeah, we got some food stalls set up, but this is just one little corner and there's the L right there. We're gonna take that into Manhattan, but gotta tell you, it's different being in the city. Y'all know I mainly do nature stuff but I'm visiting a friend out here in Brooklyn, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go out to the station right now and hit the L and go over to Manhattan. Yeah, that's the thing about this place. We're just on one corner here in Brooklyn. You got multiple shops, multiple places to eat, little corner store, deli right there. That's the thing. If you want like some food, you find these little deli places. They make some real good food and it's a lot cheaper than you go to one of them bougie places. So that's a little pro tip for you. But yeah, let's go down. Here's a little look at the map of New York City's subway system. We're like right up over here, you know, and um, right down this area. And we're gonna take the L across to Manhattan there. Yeah, that's the whole system. In the subway, there's different ways you can pay. I mean, I've even seen you can do like tap to pay and like even just use your phone or something like that. But if you just want the traditional card, you got these machines here. You can use your cash if you want or a card and get yourself a little Metro card so that you can ride on the subway. And right now, the charge is 290 and once you're in, you're in and you can go wherever you want in the subway system. And if you want, you can go to one of these little stations right here, and you can get yourself a little paper subway map. So that should help you in your travels if you need it. Yeah, always look which side you wanna go. And um, we're going into Manhattan. So you want to make sure you stand on the side that says Manhattan. Yeah, folks, this ain't even rush hour and it's already popping. You can tell where you are on the subway by checking out these little lights right here. They'll show you which stops are next and which way we're going. Well, as you can see, we're at 14th Street and Broadway, Union Square. And we got all these connecting trains here. And like I said, once you're on the subway, you're in. I mean, you can go hit any of these trains on that same 290 we just got in to get down here. It's a little loud, it's packed. I mean, trains be coming in and out of these stations all the time, all the time. Let's keep going. All right, one more time for the audio. Now that like the trains are gone and the people have already gone up the stairs. We are at 14th Street and Broadway in Union Square. You have all these different trains right here that are going all over Manhattan. We're trying to go uptown because I want to go uh, check out some of the more popular areas and see what's popping there. So we're gonna go head up these stairs and find a connecting train. Yeah, see so if you exit out any of these gates or the rollies, 
that means you got to pay 290 to come in again. So if you're just trying to transfer, make sure you don't go outside one of these. Because you can connect to all these trains from right here. Yeah, see, we're, we are right here at the 14th Street Union Square station. And we're going to want to hit the N, R, or the W to come up here and stop up at 57th Street, 7th Ave, right at the bottom of Central Park. So let's go do that. Yeah, we gotta go uptown. So we'll take any one of these trains heading uptown to get to uh, Central Park. Next to another train right there. Pretty cool. And this is our stop. Just at the corner here of 7th Ave and 55th Street. And then we're gonna go just right up there. It's Central Park. All right, folks, here we are, 7th Ave in Central Park, one of the most iconic parks in the world. We're gonna go check it out. Hell, these are all sorts of horse carriage rides you can take around. It's a little smelly right here, you know, if you know what I mean, but it's still pretty cool that you can take a little horse and carriage, old school style, around New York City. Yeah, if y'all know anything, these buildings right here, like that tower and that brand new tower right there, some of the tallest towers here in New York City skyline now, but those are considered part of Billionaire's Row, sitting right here on the south end of Central Park. I mean, you gotta have lots of money. They own whole floors there, especially at the top, you know. That's why they call it Billionaire's Row, because you gotta be a billionaire to even get a place there. Pretty wild, right? I just got a $2 can of Coca-Cola right at the bottom of that building, you know? So I, I'm thirsty and I love my Coca-Cola. Just on the southeast end here of the park, and we got this cool rock formation you can sit on and hang out. Those are all these little shade trees and stuff. I mean, you're in the middle of the concrete jungle, as we all call it. And you got this park right here where you can hang out at for free. All the stuff around is kind of expensive, but hey, at least if you need a break from the concrete, you can find some shade and some nature here. Yeah, here at the south end, south central end of the of Central Park, you have this little playground here. So if you're dragging around the kiddos to see all the sights, you can bring them here and let them have a little fun. And you got a public restroom right there next to it too. So if you need that, there you go. Yeah, I'm just at the top of that rock that we were sitting at earlier. Gives you some really good views of the south end of the park here. And the pickleball courts. This is in front of the Central Park Zoo. Alright, this uh, castle looking building here is called the Arsenal. It's right in front of the zoo there. And it has an art gallery in it. And also down on the other end here, there's supposed to be some public bathrooms, which uh, I need to use right now. You know me. Yeah, this is a cool looking building here. Yeah, here's a little map that's right outside of the zoo. So if you're in Central Park or thinking about visiting it, at least you can see what's there. And then also what's in this general area. 
and I think tickets were around like 20 bucks or something so you can decide yourself it's pretty small in there but it looks it looks kind of cool And this here is called Sheep Meadow. It's a place where a lot of the residents in the area like to come and just lay out in the grass, get some sun. You got a little photo shoot going on over there, bridal looking thing. And then, yeah, I mean, there's people playing frisbee here. There's some people passing a ball. You know, plenty of lawn activities you can come here. And being a weekday, it's not too bad here, but I've been here before on a weekend where this place is packed with people. It's interesting. But yeah, it's pretty cool that you can hang out in this park here on the backdrop of New York City. Yeah, see here at Central Park, they have all sorts of events. Like this one's a little movie series done by National Geographic. Looks like they're setting up down there. That's pretty cool. A nice little cafe here, Le Pan Quatidien, right next to the Sheep's Meadow area. So that's nice if you want to grab a snack to eat. All right, all right. I know what you folks are thinking. I live in the mountains and I come to the big city like New York City and I spend most of the time in Central Park. But hey, that's what I like. But there's about one more thing that um, I want to go check out here. It's um, place where there's usually a lot of live performances and stuff like that just like regular amateur people doing stuff singing stuff so we're gonna go check that out and um, then I'll go into the city promise kind all right folks we're here on the corner of Central Park West and 72nd Street yeah that sound is the subway below us yeah there's all sorts of food carts and stuff all around here so if you just want a quick snack i mean they're not the cheapest but they're cheaper than some of the other things i myself i think i'm gonna go get a smoothie from this place and go enjoy it in the next little spot that we're gonna hang out at yeah you got all sorts of flavors here and you just kind of give him the number and he makes it in there but on a hot day like this, it's nice to have something that's gonna be ice cold. All right, I got the banana mango mix. And it's all fresh ingredients right there. It is $10 for a smoothie this size. It's pretty big, but you know, for it being New York City and right next to Central Park, not bad. But um, we're going over there. Yeah, this area here is called the Strawberry Fields area. It's a monument or a memorial thing to John Lennon, one of the Beatles. That's the Imagine thing down there that lots of people like to take uh, their little pictures of. And in this little spot, they always do have like live music or just some people performing. So, you know, it's a nice little getaway when you're in the park, see some random amateurs making live music. And, you know, if you just go down up that way, up the road a little bit, is the Museum of Natural History. Maybe we'll go check out the front of that. This lake you see here is actually called the lake. Imagine that. This is more on the central west side of Central Park. And you can rent canoes and kayaks around the little corner there and paddle around the lake if you like. And here is the American Museum of Natural History in New York City. We're on Central, West Central Park Avenue and um, down there is 82nd Street and Central Park subway station so if you're fine with taking the subway you can come right here. We're actually about the midway through Central Park area. That's where we're at right now. And um, yeah, even here you get that iconic look of um, the buildings lining the streets. And that classic New York City look, pretty cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a hot dog or something and hungry, but then we are going to hit the subway 
and go down to the Times Square. We're, gonna, we're at the 81st Street Station for the Museum of Natural History. And we're gonna take the B downtown to the Times Square area. One thing about riding the subways here in New York City, depending on the line and even on the same line, the subway interiors, they're, they're pretty much different. It's like they all have their own little personality. It's kind of cool. All right, folks, so we actually ended up at the Port Authority subway. This is also like the bus terminal and everything. And yeah, see, it's got all the connections here in this main part. But then you pop out right in the iconic 42nd Street. About looking both ways down Times Square. I mean, you've probably seen this on many shows and many things, but yeah. This is, this is the iconic. New York City, concrete jungle right there. It's like we're in a little concrete valley. Yeah, I know it can be a little intimidating to be in the city here and um, almost feel like you're getting lost everywhere. I mean, it's just the grids up and down and this and that, but even looking at this, looking at this map, I mean, you see how big the greater Times Square area is there in the circle, but they do have lots of little maps here on like the thing and show like where you are so i suggest using those because like even google maps sometimes it just doesn't get right where you are here but at least this and it identifies buildings and other things you should see on the way to wherever you're going i actually want to go up here to bryant park so i'm going to follow 42nd street up to bryant park yeah times square is definitely something else here i mean look at all this stuff just right in the corner here that's pretty cool. There's a little Harry Potter musical place. Yeah, it's something else with all these uh, ads <laughs> going all the way up the side of that building. That's interesting. This place. Yeah, folks, uh, this here is Bryant Park. It's just on the edge of like the east side of like what would be considered the Times Square area. There's a nice little fountain here. And um, all along here is places to sit and places to get some food and snacks. There's also public restrooms here. And it looks like there's a stage set up here so maybe there's going to be some sort of concert later. Who knows? Yeah, this is another little place here in the big city where you can just I mean, you can hear everything there. Trust, you can hear it behind me. But yeah, it's another place where you can just kind of get out of the concrete jungle and into the sun a little bit on some grass. You know, that kind of thing. Which is good for these city dwellers. And I love that fountain. And on this southeast end, there's a little carousel here for the kiddos to ride. Some games. That's pretty cool. Fancy building right there. Not sure what it is, but it's fancy. Yeah, this is pretty cool having a little park here right next to the Times Square area. Yeah, folks, I gotta say the main reason I even came to this Bryant Park was because I saw on the Google Maps reviews that the bathrooms were like pretty clean. And to be honest with you, they really were clean. They've got a tenant out there kind of keeping the line moving and everything. And even like on the men's room, at least on the seats, they had... Um, the automatic like plastic wrap thing go around the seat cover so and it was clean in there so I mean if you need to use the restroom and you're in Times Square and especially if you need to do a number two then what I would say is uh come to Bryant's Park and use the restroom here and that's an all wonky pro tip for you you're welcome you now one other thing about New York is they have these uh public spaces like this one for examples and the shade of the big buildings but yeah it also has um, some chairs and some tables so I'm gonna eat this uh, chicken pabog stick and drink my little soda here in this public area yeah folks this part right here is pretty much the center of the world famous Times Square here in New York City you got little billboards all little ads people taking their Instagram pics, you know, doing their hashtags. 
This is the center. Got a little entertainment going on over here. Maybe he'll do backflips. Who knows? But yeah, this is Times Square in New York City. Uh, this is the view from the top of the stairs here. Right in Times Square. Pretty iconic place. Out there is where the ball drops. Yeah, lots of people going through this. Let me, let me see if I can set up a time lapse here, even with all these people. Those here. are the stairs at the north end of Times Square. Nice little place you can sit and chill and look at the rest of the city. Uh, a lot of people take their little pictures here for their Instagram. With that in the background where the ball drops and everything, so yeah. As you saw, did get a little time lapse there, but this is a pretty popping spot in Times Square here. Just a sea of people. And this is on a weekday. Nice. Yeah, and there's a non-licensed Pika dude. Probably a Mario step bro. And um, female mouse, because that's how it works. Oh look, it's one of those uh, 360 selfie things. Ha, nice. Okay, folks, and we're back to uh, pretty much the same view we had this morning. As you can see, uh, this area today was what we covered. Just, just, this, just this little section right here. And it took all day, you know, between the park, between, um, between going to Times Square and stuff. So yeah, lots, lots, lots to see in just a small amount of space, even with a long amount of time. So anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did enjoy it make sure you hit that like down below and subscribe if you haven't already because we'll be going on more adventures like um, I plan on tomorrow keeping up with like Maine being the Maine so we're gonna get back on the road tomorrow and head up north so make sure that uh, you hit that like and subscribe and uh, be good to yourselves be good to each other and until the next time see you on the next adventure Peace.